We are at war with suicide. We are literally at war with an enemy here at home that is taking more lives than combat has taken overseas. This is a war that's happening. And when I give you these statistics, I don't want you to get hung up on them in a way to where it's like, oh, well, I heard it was this amount or that amount. Just understand that these numbers portray the fact that this is a problem, right? So the number that that most of us hear is 22 a day. 22 veterans and military service members complete suicide every single day. That number's fluctuated from 16, 18, 20. Again, don't get hung up on it. Just know that whether it's 16 or 25, it's a problem. The other problem with it is that military veterans and service members, we only make up 7% of the nation's population. Yet we account for 20% of the overall suicide rate in this country. Such a small demographic of people are accounting for one-fifth, 20%, of the overall suicide rate. That's a problem. Just by being a veteran or a service member, it doubles the likelihood that you will complete suicide. You are twice the amount at risk to complete suicide than a civilian of your exact demographic. Same age, same background, um, everything. Same, Same sex, everything. You are twice as likely to complete suicide with the statistics. One of the ones that has jumped up recently that I, I want to bring attention to is the younger demographic. Veterans and service members between the ages of 18 and 34, the number of suicides in that age group has increased 76% over the last 10 years. It has the highest rate of suicide than any other demographic, the highest rate the older demographic, the, 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 the older veterans over 65 have the highest numbers because there's more of them. But the highest rate of suicide comes from our veterans and military service members that are in the younger generation right now. That tears away at my heart. Because I was almost one of those statistics. I know too many Veterans that are that that took up that statistic. And as I started going through my struggle and as I started coming out of it and realized that there's hope and that there's a way to overcome this. It became my passion, my purpose to go out to every single veteran and service member that I could get to and let them know that this needs to stop. What are we doing? Why are we finishing the enemy's job? For those of us who served in combat like I did, I had an enemy who physically tried to kill me. I was blown up in Iraq. The bullets ricocheted around me. I was right in the midst of combat. And I made it home just to go through a phase of my life where I tried to kill myself. And once I started seeing it from this perspective... I wanted to go to every single veteran and service member that was at that point of of, of wanting to complete suicide, that was sitting in a closet with a gun to their head like I was, and just grab them by the shirt and tell them, Stop! What are you doing? It needs to stop. Whoever's on your heart right now, whoever's on your heart right now, somebody is, that you know is struggling, please connect with them. And if it gets to the point, ask them, do you really want to die? Or do you just want the pain to go away? 